Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and I'm often asked, what is my favorite batting? Well, I have a lot of favorite battings for a lot of different projects, but I do have a favorite, all-purpose, go-to batting. My go-to is Toasty Cotton, and there are a few reasons why I like the Toasty Cotton. Number one, I like the size that I can buy. You can always buy it in small packages and different size rolls, but I like to do the roll that's 90 inches by 25 yards. It's not too big so that I can't handle it, but it's not too small that I have to piece it a lot. Having it going 90 inches gives me a good size so I'm able to use that width more than the length. When you get the batting this size, it's folded in half on the roll, so you're not getting a 90 inch roll. But you have that 25 yards wrapped. And you can see all that yardage right here. It's a nice low loft, so it's easy for me to use. I like to use a low loft. It's easier for me to put more under the arm of my sewing machine. You can see how thin that loft is about a 3 16th. Now if you want thicker, you can double up with this. That's what makes it really versatile. It is very soft because it's 100% cotton. There's a little bit of a synthetic scrim and that makes it really durable and it makes it hold it together really well. You're able to quilt this 8 inches apart and it only shrinks anywhere between 2 to 3 percent, which makes it really nice to use. There are no little bumps in it, so it's great for hand quilting or machine quilting. My craft projects have a nice weight to them. The other bonus is, because it's 100 percent cotton, I can make it and put things in the microwave using this batting. It's very important if you're going to put things in the microwave to warm them up like a potato bag that you use a batting that's 100% cotton. Heat and polyester do not go together, so they're not great for the microwave. And you'll see me use this board all the time. I use it to lay out all of my patterns so that I can pick this up and bring it to the machine. And I can iron on it, so I have about three layers of the batting in here. I can pin on it and I can press on it, and it's just a board underneath. The batting is really nice because it does give my quilting some dimension. If I want more dimension, I can double it up, but I find one layer is great. Cotton is also breathable, so it keeps it cool, and yet it keeps it toasty warm. So even though the name says toasty, it doesn't mean it's used just for the microwave. It just is a nice, toasty, warm batting. I use it for quilts, crafts, wall hangings, bags, microwave bags, lots of things. You don't need to pre-soak it. If you do want to soak it so you have no shrinkage, you can do that also. I can get about eight queen size quilts, nine full size quilts, 12 twin, 30 cribs plus some extra craft projects, and at least 50 craft projects. When you buy the rolls of battings, oftentimes you will have a large piece that you need to cut off. So I take all of those leftovers that I need to trim off and I keep them in a bag. That way I'm able to pull through that bag if I know I have something smaller in that bag for a project or if I want to test out my quilting before I start my quilt. I keep the batting the same in the same bag. So this batting would go in one bag a polyester or another brand would go in another bag. That way the battings will act the same inside of my quilting and I know that's exactly what I'm using. And before you buy a large roll of batting, be sure to make a list of the things that you want in your all-purpose batting. You can always buy it in a small package and give that package a try to see if you like it. And thank you for asking what is my favorite batting. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.